Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm looking at the eye-popping $100 million job offers from Meta for AI talent. Let's jump into it. So there's been this reporting floating around that Meta is offering elite AI developer talent $100 million in compensation as signing bonuses or even more per year. And the latest comments on this came from Sam Altman, the leader of OpenAI, where apparently Meta tried to poach some talent. Here's a comment he made on a podcast episode with his brother. I remember once hearing Zuck talk about how, you know, Google in the early days of Facebook it was rational for them to try social, even though it was like clear to people at, at Facebook that that was not going to work. And I feel a little bit similar here, but they started making these like giant offers to, uh, you know, a lot of people on our team, mm -hmm. um, you know, like $100 million signing bonuses, more than that comp per year. That's crazy. Uh, and I'm actually, it is crazy. I'm really happy that at least so far, uh, none of our best people have decided to take them up on that. I think that people sort of look at the two paths and say, all right, OpenAI has got a really good shot, a much better shot at actually delivering on super intelligence uh, and also may eventually be the more valuable company. But I think the strategy of a ton of upfront guaranteed comp and that being the reason you tell someone to join, like really the degree to which they're focusing on that and not the work and not the mission. Um, I don't think that's going to set up a great culture. So a couple of thoughts here. One, he does seem to confirm other reporting that huge offers, including upfront cash, have been offered for elite talent. I highly doubt there were a slew of offers made in this range, but probably at least a handful. Two, it's interesting that he claims that OpenAI folks have turned Meta down. Why would they do that? He initially talks about OpenAI having a better chance at creating super intelligence, which is a bit hard for me to believe is the motivating factor when you're talking about dollar figures at this level. But Sam quickly pivots and admits that, yeah, people at OpenAI are probably thinking that they have a better chance at becoming a bigger and more valuable company, which is certainly possible if OpenAI wins the AI race, but I don't think that's a foregone conclusion at this time. But assuming what Sam says here is true, it's pretty good news for OpenAI. It demonstrates that they have the ability, at least so far, to keep the talent that they're going to need in order to continue competing in this space. And I also agree with his final comment about the culture that this would create at Meta if they are poaching tons of high dollar resources. It probably won't create a great culture if you have people making nine figures trying to motivate a team of employees making six figure salaries. People are naturally envious of others, no matter how high minded and practical people try to be about these things. Animosity seems like it's almost guaranteed to build up in this type of scenario. But thinking about Meta's move here a bit more, I think it's super interesting. Just a year ago, we were talking about enormous data center investments and how there was an absolute shortage of NVIDIA hardware. Well, I think we're now seeing a pivot in the industry where data centers and hardware are no longer the bottleneck for progress in this field. It now seems that the race has moved towards intellectual talent to create new techniques in training and inference that will create the next breakthrough in AI. I think we're seeing a change from a focus on scaling laws and building the largest imaginable cluster of GPUs into a focus on coming up with and building new AI techniques. And I think this change is why we've seen a plateau over the last, say, six months in AI model performance. I'm not saying there hasn't been meaningful progress made over this time period, but it does seem like the big players have slowed down the pace of releasing new models that have meaningful performance improvements on meaningful benchmarks. And as a result, I think this is a scary time for many of these companies. It's difficult, if not impossible, to predict when your team is going to come up with a new breakthrough that will unlock the next level of performance. For example, how long is it going to take Meta's high dollar dream team to come up with a new training paradigm that will push Llama past OpenAI? Will that breakthrough ever happen? Will OpenAI or maybe Google get there first? This time frame is very difficult to nail down, and that's a real business problem, and it's a bigger problem than finding a way to buy 100,000 NVIDIA GPUs. So that's my read on this situation. There's a few lucky superstars out there that have been able to cash in on this AI craze. Good for them. They're mostly lottery winners. They pick the right field to study at the right time, which happens in technology all the time. Hopefully they can figure out the next step in all this and the field can move past this plateau. But what do you think? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you.